Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this look, I'm taking inspiration from this stunning shot of Kylie Jenner using her lip kit in True Brown K. I couldn't find a zoomed in version of the look, so hopefully my recreation is close enough. Later on in this tutorial, I'll also give you guys an honest mini review of her product. Anyway, let's start with the base. So I worked in a hydrating eye cream under my eyes to give that region moisture as I will be baking under my eyes today. And as we're approaching the cooler seasons here in Australia, I woke up with super dry skin this morning, so I used an intense hydrating primer to ensure that my face doesn't crack underneath all the makeup. And before I use a liquid lipstick, I always, always, always exfoliate my lips and pack on lip balm to ensure my lips stay soft while wearing a matte lipstick. And nothing new here, just feathering my brows out with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. Just make sure to have enough brows to balance out with the eye makeup. Now Kylie had a crisp sharp winged liner in the image so I used about 4cm of scotch tape on each side to perfect my wing as well. I first warm the tape against my own body heat to soften the sticker adhesive as your eyes are a very delicate area and you don't want to irritate the skin when removing the tape. And then aligning it up with the arch of my brow, I'm going to apply it under my lower lashes and toward the tail of my brow. As always, an eyeshadow base to start your eyes on a nice clean slate. I'm taking this right to my brows and to the tape as well. Now my first shadow is Anastasia's Lace and I'm starting with the inner corner first in a packing motion just to get the highlight over and done with first and then lightly applying it on the rest of the lid. And this step just ensures that all your shadows will effortlessly glide on. And my favourite crease transition, as you guys know, is MAC Saddle. It's the perfect amount of warmth to complement a brown lip. For the outer corner, I'm using Anastasia's Hot Chocolate Shadow with a crease blending brush. Simply focusing this on the outer third and lightly blending it into the crease shape as well. And then the last shade is this metallic gold shadow from Anastasia and I'm applying this to the rest of the lid. I'm also making sure to soften this shade into the brown eyeshadow as well. Then for liner, I'm creating a wing using Stiller's gel liner. Using tape makes this step so much easier and fuss free. Then when you're done, lightly peel the tape off and there's your super straight winged liner. Next for lashes, I'm using a set from Artemis. Artemis Lashes is a cruelty free luxury lash range that I've recently started using. They've already been worn by Kourtney Kardashian, um, Rita Ora, Liam Michelle and even Chrissy Tajian. I'll leave the links to their website below so you can check out their full lash range for yourself. So today I'm wearing a stunning silk pair called Treasure Seeker and I thought these were the closest style to what Kylie had in the image. And just look at that difference they make. And then I'm going over my liner with Stiller's waterproof liquid liner pen to amp up and make that lash line look even more bold. Now, I wanted my skin to stay luminous as possible, so I used NARS's Sheer Glow in the shade Taho. And I dotted this over my entire face with a liquid foundation brush and then pressed it into my skin using a damp beauty blender. I'm going to skip through most of this as you guys have seen me do my base so many times but I'll show you the products that I'm using. So for highlight I used um, NARS Creamy Concealer in Biscuit under my eyes and I blended it in with my favourite Luxie 180 brush. And then I applied the rest of my highlight in my T-zone and pushed it into my skin using the same beauty blender I used for the foundation. 
and then I set the highlight zones with Macchiato from Anastasia. Now Macchiato looks super light on me here because the studio lights completely washed it out but in real life it is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. And I wanted to bake a little under my eyes today just for that full glam look so I used a damp wedge sponge and I applied Napoleon's Mineral Primer under my eyes. This powder has a yellow base to it and the particles in this product are so soft and fine which make it super easy to set and blend into the skin. Um, I don't normally apply it under my cheekbone contour but I wanted a heavy contour for this look. So while I let that powder chill on my face for a bit, I started with my contour. Today I used the NARS Creamy Concealer in Cafe and applied it under my cheekbones and the perimeters of my face. Now I wanted to control the amount going on my nose so I used my Luxie 182 brush nose perfecter. I first applied some on the back of my hand and then I used the more defined side of the brush to apply it to either side of my nose. And to blend my contour I used my MAC 130 duo fiber brush and really buff the product into my skin. And then for my nose, I use the fluffy end of the Nose Perfector brush to blend out the contour. And then gently brushed off the excess baking product from under my eye region. And then the final step for contour, I used Anastasia's Havana. To set my nose contour, I used Max Oval number no. 3, I'm pretty sure, but I'll leave all um, the products and brush names down in the description box for you guys. Also, I recently found when doing my cream contour, using um, a more defined thin brush to set the contour will only make your contours look more harsh but using something less dense like the fan end on this Luxie brush for example gives you a softened blended contour that seamlessly fades into the foundation Highlight, I used Becca's Champagne Pop on my cheekbones and brow bone for a glowy finish. And then I finished the skin with Max Copper Tone Blush in between my highlight and cheekbone contour for that gradient finish. I smoked out my lower lash line using Anastasia's Hot Chocolate again to keep my eyes smoked out but still open and then coated my bottom lashes with Better Than Sex Mascara. Now finally the lips. I just want you guys to know that I paid for this product myself and I will only give you guys an honest review. First of all, I love the lip liner. It has this smooth creamy texture that instantly glides onto the lips. It's so soft that you could easily apply it all over and wear it on its own. In saying that, because the product is so butter soft, I felt as though you might go through the product faster than other lip liners, but I feel like that's a small price to pay considering how creamy and amazing the lip liner is. Now the actual liquid lipstick itself, the first thing I noticed was the fresh vanilla scent when I opened it, which I loved. The product itself gives you a good 10 to 15 seconds to work with before it dries matte. And once dried matte, it actually doesn't leave your lips feeling chalky and crumbly like a lot of other matte liquid lipsticks I've used in the past. If anything, your lips still feel moisturized and soft after completely dried and set on the lips. So do I love it? I freaking love it. I just wish the products were sold in Australia so we don't have to pay international shipping rates and play that waiting game. But in saying that, an amazing product and I can't wait to get my hands on her new colors. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys thought of the look in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe if you're new to my page. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! My main girl look like Kylie Jenner.